We're going to find a z-score from a given percentile and then find the data value at that percentile. Let's read the problem. In a study of bear hibernation durations, researchers found that the hibernation period for a certain species of bears follows a normal distribution with a mean of 150 days and a standard deviation of 10 days. The bears, whose hibernation durations were in the top 20%, will wake up very hungry. What is the minimum hibernation duration for a bear that wakes up very hungry and will round to the nearest whole number of days? The number one rule of statistics is to make a picture. Here's the picture for this problem. It is a normal distribution of bear hibernation durations with the mean at 150 days. Now, we're looking for the hibernation duration that is at the top 20%. Maybe that's right about here, with 20% of the data above it. Now, remember that the z-score table is going to give us left tail probabilities over here. So if we're looking for the z-score corresponding to this position, we need the z-score that has a left tail probability of 80%. That's the rest of the data, since we want the upper tail to have 20%. Remember, this is because we're looking for the minimum hibernation duration for a bear that wakes up very hungry. A bear right over here would definitely be in the top 20%, but that wouldn't be the minimum hibernation duration to be in the top 20%. The minimum would be right here, separating 20% from 80%. So here on our z-score table, we need to look for 0.8, or whatever number is close. Right here, we see the two closest numbers to 0.8. That means a left tail has 80%. This one on the left is technically closer, but it's not across the threshold. We want to make sure we're across that threshold and into the top 20%. So we'll go with this one here, which has a corresponding z-score of 0.85. So what is the minimum hibernation duration for a bear that wakes up very hungry? Well, it has to be in the top 20%, which means it has to have 80% of bears below it, which means it has to have a z-score of 0.85. That means it's 0.85 standard deviations above the mean. Remember what z-score means. It's how many standard deviations above the mean you are. So this would have to be 0.85 standard deviations, standard deviation is 10 in this case, above the mean. So plus the mean of 150. So this is 0.85 times 10, which is 8.5 plus 150. That's 158.5. We need to round this to the nearest whole number of days. By convention, we would round the 0.5 up for a final answer of 159 days. Any bear whose hibernation period is at least 159 days is going to wake up very hungry. One last thing, remember that looking for the minimum of something in the top 20% is the same as looking for the 80th percentile. Anyways, this is how you find a z-score from a percentile and how you use that z-score to find the actual data value at that percentile. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my statistics course and statistics exercises playlists in the description for more. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. That you